Hello guys, I am back. Today I'm so happy to present to you my unboxing and testing of my first ever mini SSD thumb drive. This time it comes from brand Transcend. It is one of the oldest uh, brand from Taiwan. I think since uh, 1988 in producing computer related product. It also one of my first bought external storage brand from around 10 years ago and it's already died for me. Till recently, I mainly use external drive from Western Digital, but still, Transcend remain one of my best childhood memory. And when I searching for uh, the fastest USB thumb drive, I come across this Transcend ESD 310 one terabyte. It's marketing as a portable SSD, but in a dual interface uh, drive format. That's the best of both worlds for me. The similar drive from Silicon Power, OWC, and Kingston, especially the Data Traveler, uh, Traveler Max series. But this one still stand out for me, especially in sustained ride performance. I'm very happy to test it out. To make it even better, it costs only $77 in Cambodia, unlike the online pricing, which is around $85 or sometimes $90. So let's look around the box and see what inside. Okay, the box is very small. Okay, the Transcend ESD 310, the read uh, 1050 megabyte and write up to uh, 900 megabyte. It has a dual interface as you can see, type A and type C. One terabyte is the black color. At the back, uh, nothing else. Okay, let's see what inside. Here is the uh, manual. Okay, a lot of SSD from Transcend as you can see. Here is that drive. It has up to two bit it from uh, 256 GB to 2 terabyte. Okay. Here's the warranty card. Okay, here is the drive itself. Wow. It's very small, okay. It at the side of your uh, middle finger. <laughs> so uh, this portable SSD come in three color: the space black, silver, and rosy pink. I got the space black one, but I also like the silver and rosy pink. If I wish to buy it for my wife, it measure uh, around uh, seventy one millimeter in length, two centimeter in width, and seven point eight millimeter in thickness. So it's very thin as you can see here how it's compared side by side with my uh, Samsung USB Fit 256GB flash drive Okay, it has the same thickness but it's a little bit longer Okay, It's available uh, from 128GB to 2TB So I go for 1TB I don't recommend buying the 128GB because the size is too small for the price and it only gives you uh, around uh, 700 megabyte of its dry speed and the 2 terabyte is pricey that you can have another better alternative it feature a dual interface okay the uh, USB A and the USB C okay so you don't need any extra cable to make it work truly really useful two in one design it utilizes a native UFD controller from Silicon Motion SM2320 and uh, Fusia uh, BCS5 uh, 112L 3D TLC NAND. It features a super fast uh, 10 uh, 
gigabit in uh, 10 gigabit per second transfer rate which it means weighted uh, USB uh, 3.2 Gen 2 by 1 and it's still uh, fully backward compatible with USB 3.0 and 2.0 it's rated uh, 10 uh, 50 megabyte read and 950 megabyte write when it's come to con of this drive I can only think uh, about the cap design okay this the cap design of both ends which is um, old school it, it works but it's very easy to lose somewhere especially when it's uh, a portable flash drive and it's the purpose that you will take it for travel with you everywhere so it might be better with, if it comes with some uh, kind of attachment okay something like this so it won't lose easily okay so it's time to test it out and i will pair it with my surface pro 9 it has a dual usb type c port uh, support of uh, uh, the support of usb 4.0 and thunderbolt so it's not going to bottleneck this drive okay okay with the drive connected let's test it with a crystal disk mark okay here it is uh, this is the folder okay let's go okay now it's finished okay as you can see the read speed and write speed uh, both higher than the advertising speed of 1050 and 950 so everything seems good here now let's start uh, the transfer speed in real world the SLC cache in this drive I think it's around 100 to 150 gigabyte before it write speed slow down to around uh, 100 megabyte so I will test the transfer to transfer a folder of more than 200 gigabyte to see how it go so I already prepare this folder okay a movie folder okay 224 gigabyte that has it okay boom it start with around 500 megabyte but I can't get the full speed okay as you can see as around uh, 150 gigabyte return the speed is more reduced to around 150 or 70 megabyte per second and and it stabilized there so it uh, you see on the graph it seems to dip down two times at around 100 gigabyte and 150 gigabyte okay but as you can see uh, this, the uh, the right performance is very stable okay you can see it's very straight and then straight again okay But I don't understand why it start around 603 gigabyte. I expect it to be around 800 and 900. Okay, maybe there is something wrong with my uh, Surface Pro 9 or the or my uh, drive is uh, uh, nearly full, so it may not be perform as maximum as expected. Okay, after this transfer finish. I will try on another uh, laptop to see how it goes. Okay, but at least we get some idea about its uh, right performance. It's very stable. Okay, and for 100 terabyte, uh, 100 gigabyte of writing case is good enough for me. We will we rarely transfer 
of far uh, more than a 50 gigabyte at one sighting personally but i think uh, you guys may be experiencing the same thing oh guys i uh, retest this usb drive with my another laptop this time a lenovo yoga 9i i plug it to the usb a thunderbolt 4 port so i um, think it's not going to go gonna button this uh, drive okay and this time my drive is uh, not full like the last time on my surface pro 9 so we'll see how it go okay i transfer this folder around uh, 200 gigabyte let's go again okay Okay, this time it, it's uh, faster it's around uh, 800 megabyte okay so clearly uh, the previous problem is because on my surface pro 9 maybe the drive is nearly full so it's not uh, perform uh, as expected We'll see uh, how many gigabyte left that uh, the speed starts to dip down. Okay. Okay, as you can see, at around uh, 100 of gigabyte, right, the speed start to reduce itself. Okay. To around three or four hundred gigabyte. Okay. So uh, the writing. Uh, uh, performance is similar to the previous transfer okay so i think maybe i can cancel this one and we will test on the usb a to see how it go okay okay this time uh, the drive is plugged into the usb a port but it's also rated 10 gigabyte per second so we we'll so we'll see how the transfer go okay Okay, as you can see, uh, it start with uh, around 800 megabyte, so it's similar to the pre uh, the previous. Okay, after the transfer, the drive is uh, a bit warm, but it's not too hot to touch. So uh, for me. Uh, that's all for this video uh, if you have any question please leave a comment i will try my best to test and answer for you guys have a nice weekend and see you guys next time bye bye